All right, Chief, explain to me your decision to stay here in Austin. Well, I mean, uh, listen, I've been here for eight years, over eight years now. I absolutely have fallen in love with my city and our cops. And uh, But, you know, when your city manager tells you he doesn't want you to leave and the mayor and members of the council and just the feedback I've been getting uh, the last few weeks from the police officers, employees, and the public, um, it's it just touches your heart. And so my heart's always going to be here in the city. Uh, but uh, like the boss said to me, you know, work's never done and we got more work to do and so I'm excited. Mm -hmm. What exactly did he say to keep you to stay here? Did Were you offered the job in San Antonio? Uh, uh, San Antonio, uh, I would just say I was actively in that process. I'm not going to talk about that because that's for them to discuss if they choose to. Uh, but uh, Mark says, hey, I don't want you to leave. You're my chief and uh, we want to keep you. You've done great work and there's more work to do. And, uh, and I agree. And uh, quite frankly, when I went through that, process with community groups in San Antonio with with several community groups spent half a day talking about the Austin Police Department and the, the, the our relationship with our community the excellence of our men and women it just energized me I felt like a proud papa talking about it talking about his child and so uh, I, I'm just ready to rock and roll and I'm glad I'm staying here and uh, just keep moving and you know the job security in terms of for my family with the severance agreement this is a no matter what, how hard you work, you know, I'm not a fool. I know that, you know, you're always one incident away from potentially having to move on. And, um, and so it's just, it's a win all the way around. But more importantly, it, it's, a, it's an opportunity to continue to serve a great organization and a great community. Um, the incentive to stay, I know maybe the San Antonio top job was going to offer a bit more money. I know, have for no police idea. Chief. Uh, but it's not about money. It was about looking at the potential challenge. I mean, San Antonio is a great city. Uh, they've got a good department and uh, with the bigger budget though well bigger budget but you know it, to me life is about making a difference and it's about being uh, an agent for change and positive change and I think that if you look at where we're at in 2007 where we're at today as an organization it's a totally different organization we're imperfect we still are going to make mistakes I'm going to make mistakes but I think that the culture of our department is better than ever uh, and I look forward to continuing the evolution that we call, of this organization we call the Austin Police Department and the relationship with our community. So I'm excited. I'm feeling that you are feeling that you are appreciated as a police chief. Were you not feeling that way before? You know, I mean, listen, we, you get beat up. I get beat up every day by a small group of people that just are vicious or just vicious. And, you know, um, I happen to put a lot into this to this, 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 this privilege I enjoy of being the police chief here. You know, I work six to seven days a week, every week, and I think that the support of my boss uh, by extending this offer and asking me not to leave meant the world to me. Uh, Mark and I got to travel to D.C. last week uh, to, to talk about some legitimacy issues, talk about the things we're doing right here and to see what's going on in the country, and we really enjoyed that trip together, and you know, and so we, uh, the, to, to your boss, for your boss to very uh, visibly tell you, hey man, come on, let's keep going, it's, it is it is important. Do you know why maybe it took him a little long to, to say that to you or had he been no, telling you from the get-go? No, Mark Mark's the, has not wanted me to leave and from, and from the get-go, but he knows that I, there's a, you know, you, you owe it to your family when an opportunity presents itself, especially when I'm a person that my entire career, regardless of my sphere of influence, whether it was an officer on a shift or a sergeant, or a lieutenant or a captain or assistant chief. I've always tried to look for opportunities to make the, the my sphere of influence, whatever I influence, better. And Mark knows my personality pretty well. Uh, but you know, when you have your city manager, your mayor, members of your council, Mayor Adler, uh, members of the community, it just, it just, um, I'll never forget when I was in San Antonio on that Thursday night, late at night, I was reading stuff and then I, I saw some of the comments from the, people that do support me and then one of them that really touched me many of them touched my heart but when I saw on the on a Spanish television uh, Facebook page members of the immigrant community saying who's going to be our champion who's going to protect us uh, that that really touched my heart because we are a community that is of different cultures different ethnicities different religions different backgrounds but we're really dependent on one another for our success. And I'm, uh, I feel blessed to be able to 
be a police chief that hopefully brings people together, mm -hmm. that knocks down those barriers. And, uh, and so to me, uh, it's a great day. Uh, the message I'm getting from my folks now that I put out that I'm staying is just uh, making me feel really good.